For this bishop, the idea of home and Rome have long been one and the same. In many ways, it's my second city. I, uh, when I was a seminarian here, uh, beginning in 1957, I never really was that sentimental about Rome, but I became so as time went on. I had spent 18 years of my life here, in addition to other kinds of visits in the course of my uh, lifetime. And so Rome is very, very much my second city. And uh, many things are familiar and yet uh, somewhat changed. And all of that makes for a, a certain amount of nostalgia mixed with excitement and happiness. He was in the Eternal City in March for an official visit along with other bishops from the Midwest to renew their commitment as successors of the Apostles. It was also a chance to revisit his personal history, the Congregation for Catholic Education, where he spent 11 years as an official, was a stop on the bishop's journey. Our Bishop Damien Bresco is from Lincoln, Nebraska. So I'm going to stop with Qui Ani. Then there was the tomb of Blessed John Paul II, who appointed him Bishop of the Diocese of Lincoln, Nebraska, 20 years ago this year. Well, it was a very moving experience to be there at his tomb, of course, to say Mass. I was not able to be here for his funeral, but I did observe and pray along with the throngs of people who were here uh, uh, with a television uh, miracle. But I must say that uh, he and I had a long history even before he was uh, the Pope. Uh, he was a member of our congregation and I interacted with him on many different levels and in many different situations. We were close friends, we had similar vibrations in our lives and our emotions and I always thought one of the great privileges of my life was to know him and uh, to be able to uh, in some ways uh, be a collaborator of his. I have many happy memories of eating meals together with him as Pope, uh, having many other interactions with him, celebrating Mass several times with him in his private chapel as well as in other circumstances. So uh, we have a place uh, in, uh, I have a place in my heart for John Paul II, blessed John Paul II. This time around in Rome, the visit was a family affair. The bishop's sister was also able to come along. She spent the last two decades with him in Lincoln. Lincoln is a wonderful diocese and the people have been most cordial to him as well as to the family. My mother lived there for a while till she died when, when he first became bishop. And um, it's a great privilege, really, to be with the bishop. He's been so good to me, took me here today for this, I mean, this time for his limited visit along with him and as a gift from my mother. So I'm very happy for that. He's, he works hard. He loves the church very, very dearly and very deeply and will do whatever the Lord wants of him to do, no matter how long it takes for him to uh, be retired or not retired and whatever God wills, I think he's pretty willing to do. I, I first of all, have to take some time to uh, make an account of my stewardship that I have to give to God uh, sooner, uh, perhaps than later. I also, uh, I do have a rocking chair and two hunting dogs that are waiting for me, but I hope that I will be able to keep my hand in priestly ministry and Episcopal work. And to the extent that my successor would be interested in having my assistance in any way, I'd certainly be available for that. So for the bishop, it's back to Nebraska and retirement.